thank you for coming. I'm very pleased to announce that at approximately 2.30 this afternoon, detectives investigating this very tragic, serious crime have arrested two male persons aged 37 and 38 and one female person aged 37 from the Coomera Narang area on one charge of attempted murder of Detective Senior Constable Damien Leading, one count of armed robbery of the Pacific Pines Tavern and seven counts of deprivation of liberty of the staff, patrons and security at that premises at that time, it will be alleged. They will all be charged conjointly with those three different charges and appear in the Southport Magistrates Court at 10am tomorrow morning. Detective Senior Constable Damien Leading is still presently in the Gold Coast Hospital Intensive Care Unit. His family are with him, supporting him. He is gravely ill and our sincere best wishes go to him and his family at this time. They'll be conjointly charged with those three offences, correct? They'll be conjointly charged with the attempted murder, they'll be conjointly charged with armed robbery, and they'll be conjointly charged with seven counts of deprivation of liberty. You have three people. Are there any other people of, uh, of interest that you're looking for? Not that I'm aware of in this investigation. The three offenders uh, that will be alleged are in custody and will be appearing before the Southport Magistrates Court tomorrow morning. Can you elaborate a little bit on his condition? He received a gunshot wound to the head and is currently in a critical condition in hospital. Sir, are you looking at these people being responsible for any other armed robberies on the Gold Coast? At this time the uh, investigators are perusing all the evidence that's been obtained from the investigation and will be looking at others. As you were aware, we have been successful in arresting a number of the armed robbery offenders here on the Gold Coast, the Logan District and the Metropolitan South and North Regions of Brisbane. As you're aware, we extradited two offenders from northern New South Wales last week which have been charged with a number of armed robbery and other serious criminal offences here on the Gold Coast. There has been a large number of offenders arrested and charged with a large number of armed robbery offences in recent weeks here on the Gold Coast. Can you confirm whether one of these men at least is known to police already? I would say that all three persons are known to police. Well, what's your feeling about the general situation with armed robberies? Obviously a, a, lot of, a lot of concern leading up to this tragedy. Yes, certainly, and the community can be well concerned about armed robberies in the community. They've been targeted at soft targets, uh, where we these days are embarking on a new crime prevention strategy. Uh, it seems to be the modern target in recent times. But the armed robberies this calendar year are no greater than the armed robberies last calendar year on the Gold Coast. Um, the statistical data shows that. Since 2001, the armed robberies have gone to soft targets, whereas historically throughout my three and a half year decade career, they were earlier were at armed robberies in relation to financial institutions. And as we've progressed throughout the recent times, they've gone to soft targets in relation to um, obtaining money. It is a grave concern to the community and the, the police and our crime prevention people and the public uh, are working well together in relation to our phase in conducting the investigations and as you've seen and heard there have been some very successful policing investigations and that will continue in relation to the evidence both material and other that we've found in this investigation in looking at other unsolved robberies. The Minister this morning said that it was up to the Commissioner and his senior executives to formulate a policy on whether there's a, an, a specialist armed robbery unit needed on the Gold Coast. Can you offer a any insight into that? I'm aware of that and I have had discussions with the Commissioner and as the Commissioner said this morning um, that matter's on the table and being discussed. You would all be aware that uh, in recent times I've been allocated 14 extra detectives in my three and a half de decades of policing. That's the largest amount of detectives I've seen allocated in one hit um, to this area. And they have been allocated to the Gold Coast and Coomera CIBs. Um, the areas that we're looking at um, are soft targets which are normally investigated by general detectives 
which is totally different from organised and major crime. Uh, at this point in time, um, that matter is still for discussion and uh, it's a matter that um, I will leave comment to the Commissioner at this stage. Are you able to give us a bit more of an insight on how things transpired overnight, how they gained entry into the tavern, how long they were inside the tavern? Look, all I'm prepared to say at this stage is you would all be well aware the matter is now before the court and it would be highly inappropriate for me to comment. But I will say that uh, it would appear that it's a planned event, that the offenders have gone there. It will be alleged that um, they have kidnapped and detained staff, patrons and security at the premises and that the police responded while the armed robbery was in progress. And um, the officers were performing their first response and other officers shortly thereafter and as a result of that these tragic circumstances are, have unfolded and the um, other officers responding early have detained in the close vicinity two of the principal offenders and our detectives and specialist unit later th this morning have detained the third suspect and uh, as a result of that our inquiries have been conducted where, as I said with them all being charged approximately half an hour to 45 minutes ago. Assistant Commissioner, can you confirm if there was a, a gunfight between the officers and the uh, defendants? At this stage, the ballistics experts are still at the scene and, uh, at a, and it's uh, quite obvious that there has been shots fired by the offenders in this matter and uh, we're still conducting ballistics checks and investigations in relation to um, any possible shots fired by police officers. Can you break down the seven people who were held hostage? Are they three barmen, four punters? <laughs> what, who was who? There's a staff, patrons and a security officer. One security officer? Two staff and four patrons. They sustained injuries? Outside of um, the psychological and being um, physically detained um, at this point in time, there's nothing that's required them to be hospitalised. How, how long were they, they in? Um, how long were they sort of held for? A short period of time, and it'd probably be inappropriate for me to comment it further. Um, it's suffice to say uh, the charge of deprivation of liberty, and uh, they've been detained, uh, and that will be part of the brief of evidence. Well, police allege that the shot was fired at close range. Again, that's the ballistics experts are still at the scene. Unfortunately, these matters do take a serious amount of time at the scenes to investigate. Our experts have been there all day and will be well there probably into the night and to tomorrow. And at this point in time, it would be inappropriate uh, and not possible for me to comment on that. Just for clarifying, you said that the female was arrested later and rang the two men at the ta near the tavern. No, the male, one male offender and one female offender arrested at, uh, in a close proximity shortly after by first response police and uh, one other male offender was arrested later this morning. And the three, are they known to police for similar offences to armed robberies? I'm not prepared to comment in relation to that. They are known to police. In a timeline, um do you have the exact time when the triple O call was made and where it was made from? At this time it's appropriate to say that the offence took place and the advice to police at about 10.45pm uh, last night. Do you know whether that call came from inside the tavern? Or was I'm not prepared to comment in relation to that. Uh, in relation it's part of the operational matters. Um, I will say that uh, Damien Leading is a very competent, capable detective. He epitomises the courage and the work of detectives and police officers not only in Queensland, Australia and worldwide. He led from the front. His officer that was accompanying him was a, a seven-year female officer who was his uh, detective partner and they were very brave in their duties and so were the first response junior constables and senior officers that went to this scene last night. Detective Damien Leading personifies what we have of a family man, he's married to a police officer, he's a superb athlete here locally and he has spent all his career here in Gold Coast, surface paradise, in either surface paradise or the detectives and recently, 18 months ago, went to commence our new detective office at Coomera CIB. Assistant Commissioner, is there any uh, security camera footage of the actual shooting incident? There is. So, just paint a picture of Damien's other interests in life. He, he was a young family. He had a young family. He does he had, have two he children. Sport too. Yes, he is a very fit. Uh 
triathlete, athlete here locally, a very fit man, and uh, it's an extreme tragedy. It's our worst nightmare as it is for any other person in society's worst nightmare for something. But when a police officer is going about his duty and his oath of service to protect the community and first response to a matter like this to be in such a serious medical condition at the moment with grave fears for his life, um, it is a very, very serious and tragic incident. And uh, the Senior Constable's uh, partner, obviously, uh, this is uh, a worst-case scenario, as you say. How do you categorise her response? The training, obviously, kicked in. Exactly. They're all professional, and, of course, that will all be subject uh, in relation to the investigation. But uh, they all um, behaved and performed extremely amiably in an operational sense uh, under the very serious circumstances. And how are they all doing today? As you can well imagine, they're all very stressed, but the, the police family is a marvellous organisation. We've all rallied around to look after them with their loved ones and their families. How quickly did they arrive after the Triple O call? I can't comment on that. Was he shot before they arrived, though? I can't comment on that. So if they've got anything further, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll give another update uh, tomorrow on his condition if anything changes. And of course, as you will well be aware, these uh, three uh, accused persons will appear in the Southport Magistrates Court at 10am uh, tomorrow morning. Thank you very much for your time and I appreciate your assistance.